Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you in a review of this series here, Exploring Canada's Geography by Bill McDonald. I have all 13 province and territory books here, and I have used them, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and give you a look through them, then I'll come back and share my thoughts on them. So I'll just give you a look at each of their covers. They are all recommended for that grade four to six range. So there's Nunavut, Northwest Territories, Yukon, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and Labrador, Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia. So I'll show you inside. Now, it starts off with a table of contents, but first I just want to let you know that down here it does say permission is granted to the individual teacher who purchases this book to reproduce the activity pages for the use of his or her students only. So you can make multiple copies for multiple children, which is always a big thumbs up from me as a mom of five. So here's the contents. Now most of the books have a pretty similar content. However, they're not always in the same place. So this is the Alberta, this is the British Columbia. So you can see here emblems of British Columbia is on, right near the beginning, whereas it's not till near the end on this book here. And I found that it kind of, that's just kind of how it is. Some have it early, some have it late. Same with the map, sometimes they're in slightly different places, but overall the content is the same. You're gonna have a number of pages that focus on Aboriginal, history, you're going to have some that focus on settling history, some that focus on resources, different places, maps, map skills. So I'll just show you the British Columbia one here. So introduction. So most of the pages are pretty similar to this, that there is some writing and then there's kind of a fill in the blank or there's an activity. This one is explaining maps and symbols, a word search to read about Victoria, the capital, a couple questions, the map. And here's an interesting one that I, I like that they include this, that there's the map, but then there's the aerial view because sometimes it can be hard to put those together. So I do like that it includes that. Just give you kind of a look. So road trip, puzzling places, a cross section, um, different views, climate, river system, Douglas fir, preserving an ancient rainforest, Aboriginal peoples of the North Pacific coast, inside a winter lodge. So again, like their little activities here as they're doing the reading or after they do it. Aboriginal place names, the sea otter, mapping the North Pacific coast, Simon Fraser, the caribou gold rush, Barkerville, early logging methods, British Columbia's lumber industry, British Columbia's natural resources, so they have to decide if they're renewable, non-renewable. Map of resources, mining copper, growing fruit in the Okanagan. Map of Vancouver Island using the grid system, so they're learning the grid system. The Port of Vancouver, Pacific Rim National Park, Eucalypt, measuring distance on a map, crossword, quiz. So everyone does have a quiz. And then there's at least one map, sometimes there's two, where there's dots and the kids can fill those dots in. And then, thankfully, <laughs> just in case they have answers at the back here. So, like I said, each book is pretty similar. I'll just give you a quick flip through of them. So you can kind of see, very similar. I'm just gonna jump ahead a few here. Give you a look at some different ones. I think Ontario had two maps, yeah. But again, they all have that quiz and they all have pretty similar information. Let's see, Newfoundland and Labrador. So you can see they cover a wide variety, the history, the geography, as well as some of the like uh, animals, the trees or things that grow there. Let's look at Yukon. 
This one has a Yukon postcard as an activity. Uh, the rectangles you cut out. So again, I do like how they have different images of similar areas, sometimes from space, sometimes just like an aerial view, just to help kids kind of understand that. So I'll just quickly show you one more. I'll show you a little bit here. There's the Inuit language, our land. About the axis. So there's a look at all of those books. So I used these books with my children a few years ago when we studied Canada. At the time they were in, I believe, preschool, grade two, grade three, and grade five, I wanna say. So they were kinda of on the younger end of that recommended grade four to six range, and even much lower. But some of those really did work for them. And actually this year I'm gonna be having older children using them. I'll have a child in kindergarten, grade three, grade six, grade seven, and grade nine. So I feel like even though it is recommended grade four to six, it's very versatile. You can use it for younger and for older children. Also, like I mentioned, as a mom of five, I really appreciate the photocopying um, part in there that I can photocopy for multiple children. And that means that, again, we used it, but we didn't actually have to write in the book, so now we're able to use the pages again. So financially, they're about $14 a book, which for 13, it's an investment. For our family, it was worth it. Canadian, five children doing Canada, studying it multiple times. It was worth the investment for us. And I do like how varied it is. I like how they have, like I said, it includes like the animals, it includes some of the history, some of the geography, some of the city names, getting to know the maps, distance, those skills, the grid reading. So I feel like it kind of encompasses a bunch of skills and topics all at once, which is something that I like. So yeah, we've really enjoyed having this resource, using it again. If there's anything that I missed or if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section down below and I can answer that for you. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.